Hey guys, I am back, and I have the one, the only, the Monthly Knife Club Onyx Box for August. I am pretty excited for this. I've heard it's going to be something that we haven't seen out of Monthly Knife Box before. So that makes me pretty happy. So let's just get into it and see what we got. The unboxing, the knife unboxing knife today, old school the CRKT Folding Razzle. Um, wow. Yeah, going back some. I love this knife. But... Okay, so. Monthly Knife Club Onyx. We're going to talk about... Oh, wow. No, we have not seen this from Monthly Knife Club before. I was just going to say we're going to talk about Monthly Knife Club and the Onyx box a little bit, um, and why it's a little bit different than some other monthly boxes. But let's take a look here at the card. So we've got the Zero Tolerance ZT357. I don't have this. I've never had this. I've never seen this. Let's get a close-up of the specs for you there, okay? I love that he does this because then I don't have to put this in text anywhere. Now, you see here, he's got listed the total value, 149 to 185. What Monthly Knife Club does is they will give you, not an MSRP, they'll actually shop around the internet and they'll say, this is what the internet price for this knife is. Um, some people will be what they call uh, MAP violators. There's a minimum accepted price, acceptable price for people that are, that are valid distributors of the particular brand, in this case, Zero Tolerance. Um, they may sell the knife to you for less than this, but this is the, the minimum price that ZT says you can sell this knife for is, is $149, unless there's like a special sale or something. So the price of the box for the Onyx is $119 a month plus shipping and handling. The value, you're going to find this anywhere on the internet for $149 to $185, depending on where you go shopping for it. So that is pretty awesome. Um, that's what the Onyx plan gives to you. It's always a higher-end knife. They're not going to like try to wow you with some kind of crappy, here's the MSRP price, you know, and then, like, you know, another company might say, oh, well, the MSRP price is $235, you know, because um, that's what the MSRP listing is, and say, this is your value for the month. They're actually going to tell you what you might pay for this somewhere on the internet if you're going to order it. That's why these guys are awesome. I'm pretty excited to check out the knife. I this is a ZT that I haven't I haven't seen before, and I have some ZTs in my collection, and I've reviewed some ZTs that weren't you know mine to look at. ZT of course is an awesome made in the USA brand. Most of them are made in the USA. Some are made um, offshore, but like nothing comes from China or anything like that. ZT also the fancier, bigger brother of Kershaw. I'm all in the same knife family. And this is just some info on like, you know, how do you open different knives of different opening types and stuff. Um, so Here is the knife. So. It remind you know it reminds me of this size and shape kind of reminds me of of a little Kershaw knife actually. Of course you know you rarely will find this kind of blade steel in a Kershaw knife. Um, there's a few that have it, but um, CPM 20 CV is an amazingly tough steel. It's awesome. Very nicely done G10. Um, little plain, but. You know, classic kind of black G10 is is um, back before knives had to be fancy and everything. So we've got the back spacer, nice. It runs down the entire length of the knife. Nice lanyard hole. Smaller deep carry clip. Looks like it is right hand. No, it is not. It is left or right hand, but tip up only. So for tip down carriers, there's a few of you out there. 
No soup for you on this. Interesting construction. I haven't seen this in a while. Um, so it's got the barrel fasteners and then the screws that go in. It really kind of has a classic old Kershaw style to it, um, to me, and I, I love that. I kind of love that. And of course, ZT, dead centering on the blade. Um, I'm really just, nice weight for an EDC sized knife. I mean, it's great weight, feels really good in the hand so far. We say we just open it. Whoa, nice, oh, and it's got a very aggressive looking blade with a really nice belly on it. Great slicer. Beautiful stone wash finish. I am a sucker for the stone wash. This is, uh, it's, it's a little smaller. I'd say it's, you know, in the same EDC kind of family. Is this a spring? Yeah. So speed safe. That's why you can get away with such a small little flipper, but it also means you're gonna get a good solid flip every single time. Really nice shape. I'm, I'm sorry, I keep I keep referring to, I know it's a ZT, but I keep going back to Kershaw because it, it really, to me, has a very classic Kershaw styling to it. And I'm not saying that as a bad thing or a good thing, I'm just saying it, it reminds me of an older kind of Kershaw knife, the kind that they don't really make anymore because they've gone from their old simple kind of knife designs to some they're really a little bit more artistic and I miss this simpler kind of look oh, wow that point is yeah that point is pointy the point is pointy there we go that's the review um, I really do like the shape though I like all the lines on it you've got a really nice positioning for your thumb here combined with the jimping got a little jimping on the flipper there Almost, I, I almost want a little bit more choil on the face side um, to get my thumb into that lock, but you can do it. And it's chamfered just enough that, you, it, you know, not a lot of stress on your thumb, but I don't know. I would kind of like a little bit more personally. Obviously, I don't think it could be as slim and compact with the flipper there if it didn't have the spring, you know? I don't think you'd have the leverage to do that. Um, it's sitting on washers, not bearings, which is really interesting. You know, and I guess you don't need the assistance of the bearings with that spring system. And I've said this uh, probably in a hundred videos at this point, SpeedSafe is my absolute favorite spring assist system. It is, it's phenomenal. It'll last forever. Um, it's the kind where you can, you know, some springs are not made very well and you leave them closed for too long. One of the reasons I display, you know, not necessarily display, but I put, I keep all my knives in the collection drawers open like this is because anything that's on a spring assist, I don't want to stress the, I don't want to stress the spring out. I don't want to keep it compressed for too long or anything. I want it to just relax in a neutral state. Um, but the, it's, so there's a, a small torsion bar in there and, um, I will think of a video I have where I take apart a spring, a, a, a speed safe, and I'll put it as an end screen so you can see it. It might go all the way back to the very beginning of my channel where we're looking at the Kershaw compound. I don't know, but I have I, I show you how it works in one video. I'll put it as, as an end screen if you want to see it. Um, but you know, speed safe is one of the ones where you really don't have to worry about any. I mean, with most, you don't have to worry about that compression ruining the you know with with modern materials and stuff. But I get paranoid. I get really paranoid. Um, it's good solid lockup. Still not entirely thrilled. You know, this is the kind of mod you can do on your own if you're new to modding and, and pimping and you want to do your own. But just grinding a little bit out right there to give your thumb a little bit more access. Of course, you're adding a little more access, so that might result in some oopsies. But all you have to do is be careful, have some self awareness of what you're doing, and you don't have to worry about it. I really am digging the blade shape, though. It is definitely meant for cutting and slicing, and that 20 CV blade, that is going to hold a beautiful edge for you for a long, long time. Let's see if I can get a shot of that bevel. Really, really nice. So let's go ahead and let's get to some cutting. So glad I found this for doing my edge chest now, huh? Um, 
very, oh. I mean, when you're buying something like a ZT, you absolutely expect that. Super smooth, no problems whatsoever. Um, in fact, I don't, I shouldn't even feel, I mean, the slightest, I feel the slightest little bit of it going through the paper, I, you know? And that's what it should be like. Um, it should be just enough that I know I'm cutting something and nothing else. Let's do a pull through. Yep, again, just enough to know that I'm going through something. Pretty clean, actually slightly, I mean, I wasn't expecting even those little frayed pieces right there, um, but beautiful edge anyway. Um, I'm gonna have to, I just realized, I put down this mat to use, but if I'm gonna do some of the other tests we do, I'm gonna have to pull this mat up so we have exposed desk. Um, yeah, this is, I mean, the, the belly on it's great. You can just cut right along and, and roll that edge on there. Normally when you roll the edge, that's a bad thing. Bad terminology, but wow, look at that. Just pops right through. Hardly any effort whatsoever. Awesome, awesome. This will definitely claim some major pocket time going into my EDC rotation. Um, in terms of feel, so, I don't feel that clip at all. I thought maybe I would with, with the lip just going up a little bit. I do not feel that clip in my hand. I don't even know it's there. Not at all. Um, I feel a little bit on the reverse grip just to my fingertip because my fingertip lands right on it. But it's very comfortable either way. Um, especially, you know, big hands. It's just enough to fill out the whole hand and give you a little bit extra on the end. Jimping is right where it needs to be. That thumb positioning is right where it needs to be. Um, yeah, you can. You can't really choke up too much, but you can lay your your index finger right on the tip for that extra fine control um, to do whatever you need to do with it. Um, you know, if you really want to get a very specific cut out of it. Um, I just realized I did that kind of off camera. Sorry, but it, and the weight is. Just enough to know you got a knife in your hand. Not heavy enough to bother you at all. I mean, four ounces, when you say four ounces, you're like, oh, that sounds a lot. But it, it doesn't It doesn't carry like a four ounce knife. It, it feels like a two ounce knife. It really does. So that's really cool. Um, I really like I really like Monthly Knife Club. Um, I really love the Onyx Plan. I cannot tell you how happy I've been with the Onyx Plan. Uh, it has disappointed me once only in only in the aesthetics of the knife the value was 100 percent there i've never felt like i have not gotten my money's worth out of out of them um, an onyx box i just didn't like the looks and it, it was a kaiser right so i mean can't complain about that i just i didn't like the way the knife looked but in terms of every other measure of functionality and quality and everything it was totally there let's look at this again okay centering Let's look at the lockup, and we've got a fairly early lockup going on there. All right. And I don't think that lockup has moved, not one centimeter. There is no stickiness, and centering is still perfect. It comes right open. One thing it doesn't give is a real crisp, nice clicky sound when it locks up. And I don't know why that is. Maybe that comes with time. Yeah, maybe it comes with time. I don't know. But I love my nice, clanky lockup sound. And this, I think it's just the construction of it and the way the, the size and everything. Not every knife can, can have that big clunk. You know what? This one's a little bit subdued. But it doesn't affect the usefulness of the knife at all. Very, very good. Very good. So, another beauty from Monthly Knife Club, and I love seeing that it's branching out into new brands. Definitely, definitely love that. I mean, the brands that they've been really consistent with have been awesome. Um, Defcon, Browse, um, Kaiser for sure have have all been really awesome. Um, Buck and Bear. I'm trying to think of some that that he's provided. You know, um, a few over time. Um, but um, this is a really cool addition to the whole lineup. 
from Monthly Knife Club. I'm very, very happy with this. So I'll put a link to, to Monthly Knife Club in the uh, video description if you want to go check it out. I should also mention it's not just the Onyx box. There are so many different boxes and different levels, you know, depending on what you have to spend. Um, and just go check it out. Great, great service. Great dude that runs it, Daryl. Um, talk to him often. And uh, he told me something new was coming and I wouldn't be disappointed. And he was absolutely right. So, what do you guys think of the 357 in the ZT lineup? Um, I love that it's more EDC friendly. Z, uh, ZT has a lot of knives that are really cool, but I think that a lot of them are very collection worthy. Um, but I can't see myself carrying them all the time. But this definitely, I could, I could see this in my pocket, and it's going to be starting tomorrow. This is, this is going into the rotation. This is getting some pocket time. Um, so I'll probably get back to you guys on how this is going. But I'm anxious to hear your feedback on this bad boy right here. So. As always, guys, you are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.